I'm Dingo Cannon. I'm here in Okinawa, Japan, on my way to the Dog Bite Studios, where every week I'll be talking with a lethal weapon, TJ Madden, live from Australia, where we'll be touching on some of the hottest topics in pro wrestling from around the world. We go worldwide with exclusive interviews with some of the biggest names in pro wrestling and MMA today. Tune in as we go live here only on the Dome. I'm going to slowly but surely letting people know that he's gay, I think. Well, there you are. Yeah. You what, what they have there? Because I saw them in Twitter. There's little hints of it in um, being the elite. What? Yeah. I remember I spoke to one ages ago that Jolly Ryan was signing Kenny Omega's penis with his penis. Yeah. So there was that, and now they're doing it a little bit more. The, there's a picture, like, I don't know who put it up on Twitter, with Omega yeah. and Ibushi really close, just like with his head just lying on his shoulder on the train. Yeah, well that's part of this tease also. They're like, um, so Koda and Omega are having this private conversation in Japanese. Yeah. And Young Buck come in and say, how are you going? And, and um, Matt goes, are we interrupting something? And gives this really funny look at the camera. What? So they're definitely dropping hints. Or, or do you think they're, they're just like, gonna cause a conspiracy? Like maybe they're not? Yeah. Oh, that's what they do all the time. They don't do that all the time, but I think there's I think they should talk because you can look in Kenny Mega's eyes. He's got gay eyes. No, he does. Do you think it's in the eyes or is it behind the eye? Because like it's like with um, Finn Balor too. Like everyone like Coda as well. He's got something about him that goes, mm, there's maybe you're a little bit gay. Yeah, but you know when I talked to Finn Balor backstage a couple of years ago, that we did a New Japan show together. Um, yeah. And I was talking to him like for an hour, and he was telling me about how he's coming back and forth from Japan because he has a girlfriend in Ireland. Yeah, but I thought you picked up the day where it flew from him as well. Oh yeah, because when Thunder was in Simulel and Finn Balor yeah. came over to his house because he was living with El Satanico and El Satanico's daughter Daniela, his fiance. Yeah. Yeah. And then Balor came over to eat because he was friends with El Satanico, who was one of his wrestling professors. Yeah. And Luke said, oh, as soon as he came in, within five minutes, he, he messaged me, he left the room to message me, and he said, oh, Prince Devitt's definitely gay. Yeah. Five minutes of having dinner with him in his house. They're even pushing it on the WWE, Finn Balor with the rainbow t-shirts and the weird designs. Yeah, but on that, they did put Jeff Hardy in those as well at around the same time. Yeah, but there's a difference. Jeff Hardy can wear it, and I know he's not gay. Finn Balor can wear it, yeah. and he just looks different. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I would promote it too, because I'm for everyone oh, yeah. doing whatever they want. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, would, I would wear the same t-shirt too for equality, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just interesting. You know, we, do, we don't care whether yeah. he's gay or not, but it's just interesting how they're, they're approaching it. But who was the, the first sort of one that came out fully as gay? He was a black guy in WWE recently. Oh, that was Darren Young. Yeah, where's his career now though? Yeah, he's, I don't know what he's doing anymore. Nowhere. It's the same he's with like... He's been on the top again with WWE for ages, I think. But I think he's got a good, he's got the WWE by the Kahulas because if you think he came out as, as a gay star and WWE were proud to announce that, you know, we equal rights opportunities in this company. So I think if they were to fire him, even for, of course, not that reason, but maybe his, mm. he, they wouldn't fire him. Who else, who else in the in the world of wrestling is being gay? Well, of course, there's the original, um, my favourite, Exotic Adrian Street, yeah. but not gay. You know, he was a tough minor from Wales. He's still yeah. still Facebook friends now, and occasionally um, he, he writes back to me. Oh, uh, you're Facebook friends with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you met him? I haven't, no, I haven't met him, but like 10 years ago when I was in Okinawa, yeah, we started, like I told him that, hey, when, when I was young, you were one of my inspirations growing up. Because, you know, remember, do you remember Matt Richards? Yeah, I never met him, but I know about him. Yeah, well, you know, when we, we met, he came from Santa Barbara in the States, and he joined my scout group. Yeah. And, you know, I love pro wrestling, but never had access to tapes. And, yeah. and Matt Richards was gay, um, even at a very young age he knew, I didn't even know what gay was, you know? Yeah. But he was just my friend, he liked wrestling, that's all I cared about. And he was a couple of years older, but he lived around the corner, and he just moved from the States, and he introduced me to the world of gay without even being gay. So he, yeah. he loved Exotic Adrian Street, he loved Barbara Streisand, and the Thompson Twins, Bros, uh, the Eurythmics, <laughs> musicals, I got into Greece, John Travolta, all the works. So that, that might have got me into musical theatre because of Matthew Richards, and I didn't even know what I was doing. I, just, I thought it was yeah. so. You know, Happy fun with musicals. Oh no, I've done musicals in my life. It's fun. Yeah. So maybe thanks to Matthew Richards. Yeah. But and then of course, but you know, and 
Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair, they always came out gay looking, just their expressions, you know? Well, like, that's true. Flair with the Rhodes. The way they dressed up and that sort of thing. And they all copied from Gorgeous George. Who Muhammad Ali copied everything from. It was part of the entertainment. Well, it really was. And you know, look at Dusty Rhodes now. Just that Dusty Rhodes look and just that little little yeah. shuffle. The Dusty shuffle. Yeah. You know, but it was really mesmerizing to watch. Very flamboyant. It was very it was very on the stage of drag queenish. So oh, flamboyant, we got the word that I wanted. Flamboyant. flamboyant. You look, even people, even you know, the, the tough men like Tully Blanchard is still flamboyant. And then you're, you're one of your favourites, Johnny B. Bad. <laughs> I he was never one of my favourites. I recall he was one of your favourites. You love the B. Bad. <laughs> no, never. PM News. But Johnny B. Bad was never one of my favourites, you know? I wasn't. He's doing well for, speaking about B. Bad, he's doing well for himself now. Mark Merrill, who's on the, the talking circuit. He helping. got to, uh, like it's um, positive, isn't it? Like he goes around telling people they need to change their thinking and mindfulness and that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, he did really well. Do you know, like, I haven't really looked much into that. Like, I've seen uh, him chat about it, but did he have hard times? Like, after WWE, did he go into depression? Is that where think- that's was- like a lot of wrestlers that are struggling with their identity. It's very hard to get out of wrestling when you, you're just born a wrestler. Yeah. And it's hard to break out. Some people never want to leave. And if you can't transition to another career or another love, tragedy, you know, struts depression. And Some of them come out of it like that. Like, look at DDP as well. DDP is a, a, a prime example. Yippie and uh, he was helping other wrestlers out. And yeah. Like, that's what happened to him. Like, so we love all wrestlers here in the dog fight. And many gay and flamboyant wrestlers for a lot of us were our inspiration growing up. One reason I also became LA Divine. So here is a few we forgot to mention, plus many, many more. For from us here at the Dog Bite, and from the words of LA Divine herself, oh honey, it's divine, darling.